When we think about species reintroduction, I, I think it's important to think about the entire ecosystem. So every animal and plant in an ecosystem has a role to play. It's got a job. And that job is an essential component in keeping that whole entire ecosystem uh, functioning as one unit, the way that it was supposed to function. There are several reasons for doing it. Uh, they all relate to the restoration of the species uh, into ecological settings where these animals can uh, either continue on with their evolutionary uh, uh, development uh, or, uh, and typically and, contribute uh, to the functioning of an ecosystem. Species reintroduction is definitely something that ecologists are uh, working a lot more with Especially in the last few decades, we've started to see significant declines in biodiversity across the world. Uh, we're st also starting to better be able to define the roles that certain species play in ecosystems. And so some species are called keystone species, and, and that means that their presence really affects a lot of different aspects of ecosystem function. And so those species are really important to keep in an ecosystem to keep that place healthy. In Alberta, um, we've got a couple really good examples of reintroducing swift fox and, uh, you know, significant efforts to recover burrowing owls in the grasslands. So that's been some population reintroduction. Uh, and, you know, the swift fox reintroduction is a great example of success of species reintroduction. And that animal plays an important role in the grasslands. And so bringing it back to the native grasslands in Alberta really helps to make sure that our grasslands function a lot better. To learn more about bison and why they belong in Banff National Park, visit our website, bisonbelong.ca.